Hey guys, Fred again. Today is a bit of a special day. I'm gonna show you what I got for my mid-2011 iMac computer and what I did to soup it up right after this. Uh -huh. So when I graduated from college for my bachelor's degree, my undergrad, I went ahead and purchased myself a Mac computer. It was a MacBook, not, an app, not a MacBook Pro, just a MacBook. It's all I could afford because when you're in college, you're pretty broke. So I saved up some money and I got the cheapest version and it was uh, a late 2008, there you go. Well, um, and I had been doing some work. I did some, some uh, professional work with it. I mean, I don't know how I did it, but the reason why I got a, a, a MacBook was because I was trained to edit on Final Cut. And Final Cut only works on Apple products. It was around the time that standard definition was coming to an end and it came to HD, the time with DSLRs and yada yada. Well, my computer didn't really work very well with HD. So I knew that it was a matter of time before I updated. My final year in grad school, I purchased myself an iMac, mid-2011. I was pretty good. I didn't come with a whole lot of RAM, but I knew that I could update it myself. According to Apple, the mid-2011 can only upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. I bought it, I think, with four gigs of RAM. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of work. I'm gonna keep this computer till it can't run anymore. So I got myself 16 gigs of RAM, installed it, I was ready to go. For many years, I was still wondering if I could still update it even more. Well, I stumbled upon a website where, that showed that Apple had been lying to us. And you couldn't update it anymore? Well, that was baloney. I found out that I could update to 32 gigs of RAM. And that's exactly what I did. I still have that computer. I still edit off that computer. It's been great. It still works great. And I realized, well, maybe I need a faster uh, hard drive. That's what I did. Boom. So I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna show you what I got. Here it is, my new hard drive. And as a filmmaker and an editor, when you update your computer, you get new software plugins, it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited. So here we go. Got a whole lot of bag right here paperwork, and of course, Pro 6G. And it came along with um, this right here. And I don't know what it is yet, but um, let me throw this away. Ah. Start off with this box. There's a whole new wiring because I'm going from uh, uh, an HDD to an SDD. And well, that's a whole lot faster. So this looks like it's uh, the connections, the tools that I need, and the little suction cups to remove the screen. Okay, and the OWC solid state drive, one terabyte. In my current computer, I have two terabytes, but I don't really use them because I store everything. I have multiple RAID 5s, so I store everything there. All the software and everything else is in the actual hard drive. So let's see what this bad boy can do. So um, what do you say we install everything? Before I get started, you're probably wondering why would I wanna update a mid-2011 iMac? It isn't my main computer. In fact, I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, the specs are pretty good. But I still like this computer because it has a bigger monitor. And I just like it, that's all. Now, before I even continue with this video, can you, can you excuse me for a second? I have something to do right quick. Ah! Okay, where was I? Okay, so what I started doing first is that the day before I started installing the RAM. Break the heck out of it, very dusty. There's even dust on the lens here, if you can tell. Took out the old ones. 
I put the new one in. Close it up. The following day is when I decided to work on the hard drive. Did everything accordingly. Here we go. Okay, so I installed the RAM and this is what the new RAM shows, 32 gigs. And now I'm gonna compare the computer as I started from the very beginning with the old hard drive and now the new hard drive. The new hard drive is on the right-hand side. The old hard drive is on the left-hand side. Right, let's see what happens. Now, just a little heads up. Before I installed the new hard drive, I went ahead and transferred a lot of the old stuff that I had on the old hard drive. There's a lot of software that I did not want to lose that's really difficult to reinstall. So I went ahead and brought over about 350 gigs worth of data that includes the OS. Now that might be a factor when starting the computer all over again. Okay, the new hard drive is done. Looks like it stopped at 51 seconds. And now the old one is done and it looks like it stopped at one, one minute and 18 seconds. The difference appears to be 27 seconds. Eh, quite the difference. So there you go, folks. That is the update to a mid-2011 iMac. Very soon, I will be updating my CPU and I'll be sure to bring you guys along with me. Stay creative, everyone.